So it is Monday today and I'm working on some dresses to send to my stockist. So I've cut out the fabric and I'm just cutting out a lining fabric. These are the colours. I can't remember if I showed you yet. but it's... Okay, sorry, my camera died earlier, but I've just gotten to this stage. So I've made the back of the dress with the front attached and then there's a little button closure here. Um, so now I'm going to add the sleeves in. So it is Wednesday today and I'm still getting on with those dresses and um, I have one finished which I'll show you in a second but when I started making them they're a lot trickier than I thought because some of the fabrics are stretch so I had to use my overlocker a bit more and um, but yeah I'm getting there so I have the second one to a stage where I've got like the top and the back done and I've got the sleeves ready um, and I need to put it all together. So I decided for both of the dresses, they're kind of like drop. Um, I actually don't know how you how you describe it, but it's like the, the waistband is lower rather than at the waist. Um, so maybe drop hem, I, I'm not too sure. I made some of them like that for like a summer collection. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. So yeah, I'm doing the same this time. So they're a lot, lot um, just like a different shape, but a real casual, easy to wear shape. But for the bottom tier, I was going to do it in the same fabrics. And then I had an idea that um, I made some skirts a while back for the Barbie collection and they didn't sell, but I really like the fabric and I like how the fabric looked with the, uh, the dress. So what I'm actually doing is using that fabric on the bottom of the dress. Um, and it's really fun and really playful and yeah I really like how how it looks together kind of like the contrast of this kind of colors up top and then this kind of fun down um, like skirt down the bottom and um, I'll show you the finished one in a sec anyway so I'm just getting on with the second dress today so hopefully I'll get that finished by the end of the day that's my plan at least um yeah i'll show you the other dress now so here is the finished dress it's got these these big sleeves with gathers and the bow ties which is the usual thing i do and then yeah it's got like a drop hem and then this is the bottom so it's a uh, it's quite fun um don't know whether i'll add my screen prints or patches or what i'll do but I'll probably do something else and then the back is these little button closures so yeah that's the back there so it's actually the next day my camera died yesterday but I can't remember exactly what I, where I left off but this is one of the finished dresses and I'm I've got another one nerdy finish that I'm working on here but I've decided to do like a kind of a, I don't know what you call these, but like a flat collar on the neckline. So I've just had to create like a pattern that suits this neckline. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be really cute. I'm not too sure exactly which fabrics I'll be using yet. Maybe even a cream one might be really nice. So that's what I'm working on now. And then I need to do the, uh, the sleeves on the dress as well. And then this one will be done too.
If this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, I make these studio vlogs weekly, just documenting kind of running a small sustainable fashion business. And I also do weekly outfits of the week videos. Yeah, so if you are interested in slow and sustainable fashion, it would be great to have you here if you wanna subscribe. Um, yeah, and hope you're enjoying the video. So just down to the last bit on the dress, I've um, done the hem on the sleeves and now I'm just making the uh, straps to go or the bow ties to go inside. So that is one of the ties not stitched and then that's how it looks stitched. So it just neatens it and flattens it out. So I'm going to get this one done now um, and then I'll be nearly done. Okay, so now they're both done and I'm going to add them to the sleeves. And I am finished. I'm so happy with how the collar turned out. It was definitely worth the time. I actually had to take it off and do it again because I didn't get it level with like the half here. It was going to off to here. So um, yeah, but I got it done. I still need to add my tag in there. I have... One of these really cute ones that I'm going to add in there. Um, yeah, and then the, um, I did the cuffs there with the little bow tie. So I now have that one and I have that one. So two done. Yeah, so that is a successful start to the week. So it's Friday today and I just got an order for one of the star bags so I'm going to get that packed. It's the one that has um, this detail on it. So I've made a bag to put it in just out of some vintage lace so I'm going to get that packed up now. So that's going to be it for this week's video. Um, I just finished packing this order and then I dropped it off at the post office. So I've got a lot coming up in the next few weeks. Hopefully I'll be able to stay on top of getting my vlogs out weekly. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in a video soon. Okay, bye.